Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can go about recovering data that you've accidentally deleted, even if you think that you've permanently deleted it. Now before we continue, just want to let you know guys, if you want to watch more videos like this, hit the subscribe button for this channel and if you're really interested in getting the absolute, absolute best, hit the join button. There is now a channel membership for uh, the Pixavert channel and you can get exclusive videos just for channel members in the YouTube membership program. Now, if you've ever had a problem where you've deleted data accidentally or had some kind of other data loss situation, it can be a horrible experience you start feeling confused, you get a little bit of anxiety, uh, you can even get a little bit of panic setting in. Now what I want to do with this one is to give you the advice that you need, try to recover as much of that data as possible and I'm going to try to give you some general advice and we're also going to look at a specific software that will allow you to undelete your files even if you think, even if you think they've permanently gone. Tenorshare reached out to me, they wanted me to take a look at their data recovery software and I've always been very interested in data recovery solutions. So the software for the DIG for Windows, it's also available for Mac, is pretty powerful and it allows you to recover deleted files, lost partitions, uh, external device, you can uh, attach them to your PC and recover data. It's also capable of doing raw file recovery and it does cover a huge number of different file formats including JPEGs, TIFFs, PNGs. You've also got a whole bunch of raw files from different cameras. It's capable of also doing video, audio, office documents, email, very comprehensive and I was also looking to see if it will be very easy to use and well you'll be able to see just how easy it is uh, to use. It will work with computers, laptops, SD and memory cards and a whole bunch of other stuff. It goes back all the way to Windows 7. So Windows 7 to Windows 11. Initially, we'll do a quick scan. And I gotta tell you, when it did the, the initial scan, you can see here the devices and drives that it found quite a lot. If I scroll down here, look, it actually found some lost partitions. Now, this one I know very well. It's actually a, an old Windows partition that I deleted a few weeks ago. So even without any kind of complex scan, it was actually able to find some of these, some of these uh, deleted partitions. You've got an option to recover from these different drives. You've got common locations like the desktop, the recycle bin, very useful one. Uh, and you can also go very directly to a specific folder. And there are some more advanced options down here. What we'll do for this demonstration, I've actually deleted some files and I know where those files were. We're going to go to a specific drive where I know that the files were. Uh, the select folder option is lots more specific and probably the one that you'd want to use if you know exactly where the files uh, that you deleted were. But I'm going to pretend I don't know exactly where they were. I just know that they were on the T drive. And I know that there were photos. So what I'm going to do is to uncheck the all file option and just filter out the photos. Let's choose scan selected file. And here, let me explain what's happening here. We've got the deleted files. So I actually deleted the files. They are gone from the PC. It's found something. It's doing what's known as a fast scan. And you can do a much deeper scan. I'll show you how a little bit later. This one has found a ton of files already and it's uh, got 25 minutes to go. Now, this is a very, very large drive. It's about, I think, 200 gigabytes. So it's running pretty quickly. The deleted files is what interests me. That's where I'm gonna look first. And if I don't find anything, the suggestion is that I could look in the lost location for any missing files that I haven't been able to find in the deleted option. In the deleted option, I can see here the file, the folder. I can remember the name of the folder. It was a test folder. This looks like it. So we'll pause this and we'll see what we can recover. I'm going to hit the recover button. But before we do that, let me show you that you've got a file view, which allows you to view the files in terms of, well, you can see here JPEGs, PNG. Remember, we filtered out just the image files. 
and we can see them all here. There's plenty that have been identified. And if I wanted to, I can actually come here and choose preview. And sometimes it will generate a preview. So let's go back to the tree view. Let's go back to the test. This is the one that I want. Let's select that and it's found three files. This is less than I was expecting. And there's no preview, but we'll try to recover these anyway. Let's see what happens. Uh, what it says here is, please select a path to save recovered files. Do not restore files to the partition where data is lost. Now, I said I'll give you some specific tips that were more general. The first tip is when you try to do this, be methodical. So it's giving you an instruction here. Do not restore these to the same drive where you are trying to recover them from. And the reason why is because when you try to restore deleted files, those files are still there. There's a trace of those files and the actual files might still be intact. So if you were to recover them to the directory that you're trying to recover them from, it might actually overwrite other data that you do want to recover still. So try always to be methodical and to recover the data to another drive. The second piece of advice is don't panic. It's very easy once you can, once things are falling apart, you've realized you've lost some data. It's very easy to panic. And when you're panicking, it's hard to be methodical and to be precise. We're gonna go and choose this, I'll choose this folder here, 001, and we'll choose recover. And it says, do we want to view them? Let's go ahead and view them. Now I'm going to go ahead and open these up. They're in a subfolder and there we are. Those are the folders. Those are the files. Let's check what they look like. And I'm trying to view them as previews and I can't actually see anything. And that's a pretty good sign that this hasn't really worked. So what we'll do is that we'll minimize this and we'll try a different method. I put the documents initially in the recycle bin before I eliminated them from the recycle bin. So we are going to go back into the recycle bin. There's an option right at the top. We'll go into the recycle bin and here we are. We can see that folder I was talking about, zero test folder. Well, let's see exactly what's in there first. We've got a ton of files. This time, as you can see, we're seeing the preview. That's always a really, really good sign. Let's go ahead and recover. We'll choose the same folder, recover. And it saved these. I think it'll be in a slightly different path. So we've got recycle bin. This is a slightly different path to the one that we were looking at before. And we, here we have them. Let me go ahead and change the view to icons. And as you can see there, we've got the files recovered. Let me just copy this and we can take a closer look at these inside of my image viewer. Let me just paste that location here. And there you can see them. What's happened here? These are files that were originally in the recycle bin. They were deleted from the recycle bin. You can't get them back using Windows, but using this software, it's managed to identify the files. And as you can see, they've been fully recovered. Everything's good. Now, it's recovered two of them because I actually ran this test a couple of times and it's just given them slightly different names, although they're exactly identical files. Now, let's take a look at another feature inside of the software, which you might want to use. If I wanted to, I could choose what's known as a deep scan. Now, let me just go ahead and close this and it gives me an option for deep scan. If I wanted or if I felt that there were more files, I could choose the deep scan. If you are interested in this software, it works really well. As you can see, I'm going to give you a third piece of advice, which is be prepared. Now, whenever you accidentally delete something, if you start to install software on your drive, that could overwrite something that you want to recover. So I would recommend being prepared. That means getting the software installed and ready before there's a crisis. 
let's go to the buy now tab and here we'll find uh, there are three different licenses there's a business license let's close this if you want to let's go with the buy lifetime license and if you look in the description for this particular uh, video you'll find there's actually a code you can use for reducing the price so if we go to the code and just paste that in there it reduces the price so remember to use that code when you're actually checking out thanks to Ten Tenorshare for uh, sponsoring this video I think this is really powerful software which might be a lifesaver you know in, in 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 the moment of crisis so I hope you find that one useful guys I'm going to leave it there. If you want to see more of these videos, give the video a thumbs up and hopefully we'll see you in the subscriptions list or maybe even in the membership list. Thanks for watching.